What's up guys, this is Tim here, YTP2000, and today I'm going to show you how to take out, how to like fix the, uh, p fix a pencil sharpener, a, a pencil sharpener that has like a stuck point into it, and you're, and you're having problems trying to sharpen your pencils, all that, but, so, we're going to show you how to do it, so, what you need is a pencil sharpener, which I already took apart in this er earlier, what you need is some screwdrivers, which I need, which I use. I I have different sets of screwdrivers because they have different sizes. So yeah. So yeah, but what you want to do first? Well, so yeah, like those you need some tools with screwdrivers, like you know, to like do the stuff. So what you want to do first in order for you to open the uh, sharpener is you need to take this this cover out which it has like all the uh, sharpened stuff in it and when you took that out you had this is what the shell looks like um so what you want to do is you want to take out these three screws here this is like these three screws with it. there's two on the top and and one over here so make sure you use a uh, Phillips screwdriver but make sure you find a size the correct size that can fit into this because it's important like depending on what size of your screwdriver it needs to like go into these three holes and it can and you're gonna be able to unscrew it but when that's unscrewed you can be able to like take that out and when you got that taken out and what you want to do is you want to take these uh unscrew these two which you don't have to unscrew them all the way you can just leave it like this and right here is the uh well let me show you but you i don't think you guys can be able to see catch on camera but uh, but there's the point right there which it's stuck in order to get that out is like you need like you need like a use a uh, a torts screwdriver Oops. What you need is a Torx screwdriver in order to take it out. Right now, like, take this out really carefully because you'll be needing this. Uh, so, yeah. Because there's, like, some sticky stuff on it. So, in order to take it out, like, let me see if I can try this. Oh. So, alright, so. Alright, there it is. It's taken out, which there is a point. What you want to do is, in order to take it out, use a um, flathead screwdriver and do like this, but mostly it has an aim on the ground so it can come out. Oh. Uh, and yeah. And if you want to be able to put this back on. Alright, so now. So yeah, which. And now, in order to like. Put this. Reassemble this. Put this part back. Let me make sure it's focusing. Let me uh. Here. Alright. All right. You put this part on here. Alright, make sure you have the screws lined. Alright. Hey, let me pause here. Alright, what you want to do is you, like, take some long, these long screws here. This is different, because these screws here, they go to the bottom of the sharpener. What you want to do is you take these long screws, which you have to 
Here, let me uh, sh do this for you. Like, there's two of them. Make sure they're lined up against this. There's like a hex uh, screw. This hex thing, I don't know what it's called, but what you want to do is take a uh, take a Phillips, take your standard Phillips screwdriver and screw it back in. And screw it back in. And repeat the same process as well. So make sure the wire is not in the way because you don't want to damage the wire. You don't want to damage the actual like sharpener. So um, let me. Okay, let me pause again. All right, hold on. Let me uh, try this again. Don't. Don't screw one all the way because this is going to be a problem, so you don't want to break it. Here, let me uh, screw this one out. Alright. I think I'll be good with this one. Whoops. Hold on. Make sure this uh, screw doesn't like, come out, so... Hold on to this tight. Alright. Repeat the process with this one. Alright. Should go in. Alright. Is it going in? Is it going? Is it going in? All right. Once you feel it going raising, you you can be able to tight both of them all the way in. So that's my mistake I get. But so this is like this is a sharpener related video. So. Okay. Alright, this one's like kind of tight enough. Wow, this one, I think. This one needs. Uh oh. I think I kind of broke it, so. Or maybe not. I just heard a pop on it, but. I think it's still gonna work, so. Wait, wait a minute. I think those are circle screws. Those are circles, not right, like hexagons. So, um, but oh well. All right, once this is like screwed all the way in, go ahead and attach it on here. Go ahead and attach it back to this uh, shell here. Let me find a way where I can I uh, put this. Which way did I have it? All right, let me see what I gotta do here. Alright, what you want to do is, this cable like, attaches, so, let me see where this lines up. And how this cable lines up is, like this. I think it's this one. Here, let me see what I can do. Alright, make sure to line this up. Alright, sorry about that again, you guys. I just, my camera just shut. As I cut. Alright, so make sure to line this up. As I said, line this up. Make sure it's like in there correctly. Alright. Make sure you get this cable. 
and make sure it's uh, permanently attached. Yes. Right, so this is like where the power connects. So, yeah. Oh, God. Alright, here, let me see here. Alright, when this is attached, go ahead and uh, put this bottom shell on. Well, here, let me pause here while you go ahead and do it. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. This thing was like too complicated to do, so what you want to do is you had to attach the power, this power cable, this power cord here, like on this make sure it's like on the neck right? so and you can go ahead and attach the bottom which is which this is gonna be a really complicated part reattaching this sharpener alright alright let me uh, pause again and this. I'm sorry about I'm pausing this video because this is like the most complicated part of this sharpener So let me pause one more time uh, Or I meant again, so I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I know this is this is the really complicated part uh, I was trying to reattach it back So what you want to do is go ahead and re re like um Put these uh three screws back Put the three screws. Let me get my third one over here. Where did I put it? Alright, put the three screws. So let me go ahead and pause here and put on time lapse. Hold on. Um, okay, this is getting to be really complicated, so I need to. So I'm going to pause while I come back, which. Because it's really hard to, to do it, so. Let me, uh. Pause here and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Alright, so now what you wanna do now is you can go ahead and insert this. Alright. And there we go. We got a uh, we got our sharpener back. So now I'm gonna now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go upstairs in my office and do this so right now which I'm in my basement so uh, which I'm so yeah which so now let's go I'm gonna go upstairs into my office and show you the results all right so all right now we get to plug it up all right so we're gonna test it so yeah all right if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and hit this up thumbs up if this helps like which so yeah this is how to fix a uh jammed pencil sharpener like how to take how to fix this like uh this like this part here it's it was stuck inside so the point part which so yeah like the tip the uh, pencil is like stuck inside there, like inside this this hole. Which if you like, if you try to put your pencil in there while this is stuck, it just like doesn't work. But it runs, but it won't sharpen it due to that thing. Due to the uh, point is in the way. So yeah, I hope you guys um enjoyed this video. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if this helps. Drop a comment down below or message me on YouTube if you guys have any questions. And um, hit that subscribe button for more future contents coming up. So, yeah, and um, follow me on Google Plus, Tim, iTimpel2000. Follow me on Instagram, Timpel20411. And follow me on Flippergram, iTimpel under slash Eagles2000. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, so, so thanks for watching, and 
if this helps. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video for more future contents coming up. So, um, so, so yeah, um, thanks for watching.